order to draw the loose dot structure of b2h6 which is diborane we need to find out the valence electrons of the different atoms present in b2h6 which are boron and hydrogen now uh, diborane is made up of two borane molecules which is bh3 okay so first we will dive into the structural part uh, in the into the structural uh, phenomena of bh3 and then we'll discuss about as to why B2H6 is special and what is banana bond in B2H6 because this is a fairly complicated one if you do not know uh, the structure. Okay, so let's begin. So the electronic configuration of boron is 2s2 and 2p1. The orbital diagrams are like this. 2s has two electrons and 2p has a single electron but 2p has three orbitals, right? These boxes represent orbitals. In ground state, boron can make only one bond, only one covalent bond because it has got just a single unpaired electron, this one, right, this one. But in excited state, boron has got just a single electron in the 2s subshell and two unpaired electrons in two different orbitals of the uh, in the 2p subshell. So you've got one, two, three, three unpaired electrons and now boron in excited state can make three bonds, right. Now coming to the electronic configuration of hydrogen which is very simple it is 1s1 the first period of the uh, periodic table first sorry first element of the periodic table and has just a single unpaired electron and everybody knows that hydrogen makes just a single bond so you've got boron as your in bh3 you have got boron as your central atom right and it has one two three three valence electrons right so one two three and you've got in bs3 you've got three hydrogen atoms right three hydrogen atoms and they all have single valence electrons so you've got one two three one two three right and they're going to make single bonds with each other with boron each hydrogen is going to make a single bond with boron and also one more thing if you notice is that you've got a vacant orbital from the 2p subshell right so boron will also be having a vacant uh, 2p or a 2p orbital right you can call it as 2p z right because according to the norms we call that this is the 2px one 2py and 2pz so you can call this one as 2pz vacant orbital right now let's get into the structural part of b2h6 diborane so this was your uh, structure of bor 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 borane bh3 <coughs> So as I said that in B2H6, you've got two borane uh, molecules and what happens is that, see, you've got a borane having three hydrogen atoms and a vacant 2p orbital, right? And you've got another borane. which is also having a vacant 2p orbital. Now what happens is that in these bonds, in these bonds, these two, you got two electrons, right? Bonds are made up of two electrons. So we can replace this bond and just for the sake of convenience, I'm writing it down in the form of electrons, right? One, two. Now what happens is that for the formation of B2H6, these two have to come along, right? So this is a vacant orbital. You got uh, an electron from the hydrogen. Hydrogen has donated its electron. This electron is from the left borane. This boron or the, or the borane in, on the left side, right? So there's a formation of bond in which two, three centers and two electrons are involved. How? Let's see. See, you got two electrons. And this can be shared like this. For simplification, I can write it like this. See, B boron has a vacant 2p orbital, right? And you had a hydrogen here. And you had two electrons. You had two electrons. Now, bo this, boron, this, this boron can extend its orbital, right? And this, the, the form, and this was also a formation of orbitals, right? You had uh, electrons uh, shared between the orbitals and boron also had a vacant orbital. So what can happen is that these two electrons will be, uh, what can you say, moving in all of the three orbitals, right? And will be shared by all the three centers, 
the first boron, the second boron, and this hydrogen. And we draw it something like this to represent the banana bond. Why is it called banana bond? Because those three orbitals have come along together and now they have formed a single unit and its shape is like a banana, right? So you got one, two, three, three centers and you got two electrons, right? So this system is called three centered two electron system and is called as and is known as a banana bond. Similarly, here also it is represented like this. Right? So this is the structure of B2H6 and there are two banana bonds and the system is three centered two electron system. One, two, three, three centered two electron system right thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any confusion and or or any doubts regarding this video uh, co comment down below and i'll be sure to answer it thank you so much